Alright, greetings family, greetings everybody. Welcome to the Tanzania November Roots and Culture Journey of a Lifetime. And this is our third time in Tanzania. I'm Bomani Tamba, a tour organizer and a tour leader. And uh, my good brother uh, Mali, I've learned a lot from him, uh, traveling with him the last uh, two times. I really appreciate him and uh, thank him for his uh, patience and humbleness. I know sometimes um, we can get a little tense and things like that, uh, but uh, just do our best to just show as much love and support and uh, let's, uh, let's not overwork our guides and things like that because um, it's um, he's already took a break from things he was supposed to be handling and I just really appreciate him being here because um, you know sometimes you have family things that you have to handle but he, you know, he, you know, he really appreciated us, us coming to the country and he wanted us to make sure that we uh, were received well because also his brother uh, couldn't make it also. So we're all trying to just make sure that we uh, give you the best program as um, we take this uh, journey for a lifetime, the third time in Tanzania to another level. So what we have set up now, uh, tomorrow is Saturday, uh, day number three. Unfortunately, the first two days is like, you're, you're, leaving, uh, you know, you're leaving North America and then you're getting to Europe and then you're getting to Africa. So. It's a lot of moving and everything. I know everybody is tired, so for those who honestly cannot make it up in the morning and you don't want to do the museum or shopping and you just want to relax, that's entirely up to you. But what I have set up is for the, for the three days that we have in Arusha, that well, the departure time is nine o'clock. So what I usually recommend is uh, everybody do their best to get their breakfast after eight and uh, just do your best to be uh, ready by 8.30, close to nine. And then once everything is finalized and organized, uh, we'll leave out about nine o'clock. The goal is usually to get back about uh, four o'clock, five o'clock. So that is uh, literally a full day, just like uh, you know, you're on the uh, JLB. Uh, so the relaxing time is more in Zanzibar Island. Uh, but Arusha, tomorrow what we have is uh, the, the full museum, the decoration museum, the natural museum. We also have Maasai shopping. And in the afternoon, we have some more shopping. And in between that, uh, we'll find a nice place for lunch. Uh, lunch is not included. Uh, breakfast is provided by the hotel. And then what we do is uh, the, the tour operation provides uh, dinner. So dinner could be any, it could be a combination of we just have dinner at the hotel, or we just may go out to a location and have dinner. And then in some situations, based on people movements, some people may just eat at the hotel and others may go out with us. So every day when we get ready to do those options, we'll explain it. But for the most part, the goal is to try to go out and support uh, a nice uh, local restaurant uh, as best as possible. Uh, yes. uh, you know, we came here to support our brothers and sisters here and support their economy and support the country as best as possible. So uh, we want to give you just a full African experience. Uh, that means, um, I'm, unfortunately, we're not going to be taking you to no Chinese, Lebanese, or Indian restaurant. If one of them slip in here by accident, you know, it's because, we, you know, we had, we had minimal options. But uh, this is like to let people know what we do. And I always try to find a new way to make a restaurant. I got to support my people. Um, and uh, any, any soul food restaurant from America, you got to support my folks. So in that turn, you know, we're supporting our brothers and sisters in general. But the, uh, once we finish uh, tomorrow and we do all that shopping and moving, the Sunday what we have is, it's not a safari. If you want safari, you can stay back uh, longer or, and then brother uh, Mali and his brother Eugene, uh, did, you know, they, do a, they do these safari journeys from, I'm trying to remember that, is it Ngoro Crater? Ngoro Ngoro Crater. Ngoro Ngoro. And also they do uh, the famous one, uh, which is Serengeti. The Serengeti. So those are things, uh, that we've been trying to push, but um, the best we can do is one national park. So when we leave out at nine o'clock, uh, we'll be back. It's the national park, Java Run, is a, it's a only a few hours. Now, what I'm gonna recommend with, for Sunday, um, we have tried different things the last two times, and um, I don't wanna frustrate our staff. Uh, so the best thing I would recommend is everybody provide your own lunch. There's no lunch you're gonna get out there because you're in a national park. So what I would recommend is doing breakfast time, just uh, tell the people at breakfast just to make you something, you know, make you something additional or separate, or you can kind of get something the day before, and then if we need to provide water or refreshments, uh, we can do that, and that will just make it nice and smooth. Uh, we've tried to do packaged lunch, uh, but uh, based on the feedback from the group, um, I don't want to 
you know, I was, you know, I don't want no trouble. So, um, because I do understand when people have their meals when they, especially they want it hot and things like that, like it's right from the fast food joint. Um, but uh, when you're doing, you know, when you're doing things in national parks, you gotta work it out different. So that's what I would uh, recommend this up. And then, you know, later on we'll go for a nice dinner and you can just, you know, be good. And then uh, the Monday is more of a layback day for those who have school supplies and those who want to go to the Tanzanite Museum, maybe you have a husband or a wife or, or a fiance or a girlfriend or somebody, you want to buy them a nice ring or buy nice jewelry, instead of buying diamonds and things like that, you can get the uh, gem, the Tanzanite gem. So I was able to go to the museum last time and it was nice, it was a nice experience. And uh, so that's part of it, did some more shopping and then you know, it's Monday, so we leave it Tuesday, so it's going to be that laid back day but if you have any school supplies or if you want to put financial donations together uh, you can just uh, give that to the school and we'll uh, we'll find a school and then we'll let you know what the school is because we're going to be more in town right. now the day of um, the air the precision air flight uh, it's going to leave from arusha so it's going to be in town we don't have to come back to kilimanjaro but once um once we get all set up the main thing I want everybody to do is make sure you have your ticket uh, printed. Um, uh, email was sent for everybody for their precision air ticket. If you don't have it, I'll resend it or I'll try my best to see if I can give you a digital copy to where you can print it out. But I'll make sure that everybody have a printed uh, ticket. That way when we go there, uh, we can just be, you know, we have our ticket printed. And then also it's only one check bags allowed. So anybody that have more than one check bags, uh, you have to be willing to pay, what is it, like eight to 10,000. Yeah, for a one kg, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so they end up paying anywhere from forty, fifty dollars, uh, something like that. But uh, what I recommend is just for you to bring local currency. That way, you can pay for your extra bag weight. And if you have stuff you can get rid of and trade and things like that, just get rid of it. But I know people are going to be doing shopping. But that's the only thing that you just have to think about is just paying for an extra bag. But it's not like in the U.S. where you pay two hundred dollars for an extra bag that is international. It's a uh, domestic cost. So I would say probably between thirty and fifty dollars. Now the next thing I want to talk about is uh, Zanzibar Island. Now once we get there, uh, we do a nice little tour the first day and then in the afternoon we don't, we don't have, have much going on. The next day we do a city tour in Stone Mountain and then the day after that uh, it's a free day. So the three days in Zanzibar Island, it's a laid back so you can just relax, kick back. If you're on a beach resort, uh, you can do snorkeling. And the, the group activity we have is a sunset cruise and that's the third day in Zanzibar and we just we're gonna go up for dinner and then we're gonna cruise around the different islands and that's a nice adventure. And then to just wrap it up fast, uh, once we take our ferry boat from Zanzibar Island to Dar es Salaam, it's a light schedule. We only have one day where we just do a, a tour. So the busiest part of the tour is these first few days. So it gets more laid back. So I would say just tough it out and just enjoy the first few days and then you, know, you can ex enjoy your relaxation last two cities, uh, Zanzibar Island and also Dar es Salaam. So that's just an overview of the schedule and the schedule is uh, what you see in the what you see in the program guide is the uh, exact schedule we flow with. Uh, did my best at the last minute to just adjust anything and any flow uh, to make it just uh, nice and smooth and not too congested to where it burns people out because uh, I do remember you know, like on a Saturday sometimes you know, that's why the Saturday schedule is adjusted so you, you know, don't get burned out. But I'm hoping that everybody can just, uh, once you get in, uh, your rooms and everything is uh, set, so we get you to your rooms, you rest, and then you know, get up and get you a nice breakfast. So hopefully everybody's motivated to you know, come out tomorrow, because tomorrow is one of you know, the best itinerary days. The two museums are incredible. Which so, one do you do first? Do you um, or the shopping? Uh, Masai shopping, it just depends on how the flow goes out, because we've done both. Um, what do you want to do tomorrow? The Maasai shopping first, or the, the uh, I think it's good to do the Maasai gallery place at the end of the day, two at the end of the day. And perfect. And if you don't get enough shopping, we can, uh, we we can, can bring it back on Monday. We can uh, start with the uh, Arusha Declaration Museum. After that, we can come to the uh, Natural Museum, and then have lunch. And after lunch, then we can go to to the Maasai place. Perfect, so and I've adjusted it to where it's nice and smooth, and um, so it's a great itinerary. So, family, just want to find out if anybody have any questions. And once again, family, uh, dinner is the only thing that's included.
included, lunch is not included, and breakfast is provided by the hotel. And anybody have any questions or know any need to know? And if nothing else? So dinner and lunch, dinner and breakfast is included by the provided by the hotel. Uh, 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 only breakfast is provided by the hotel. You do your own lunch and then dinner uh, with this uh, provide dinner from the uh, group operation. Dinner is, the, dinner is the only thing that's included. Dinner and breakfast. What does dinner be? What does it consist of dinner? Uh, dinner, we just go to a restaurant and order food. And our for all? Excuse me? The dinner will provide that for all? And, uh, dinner is covered uh, in the, the group uh, package you pay for. What type of food? Chicken, fish, okay. snakes, frogs. <laughs> snakes? Um, <laughs> No, that's the usual food that you can never eat. I mean, it's not, it's not, and most of the places they have American style things to order. Okay. So, chicken, fish, uh, okay. other combination of things, local food. So, we're going to try to go somewhere where you can get a mix of um, international and uh, local cuisines. Okay. And then you just pick what you want, pick what you eat, because everybody has different diets. Right. And then we just uh, all make it work. And then we do a group buffet with just put what's. Just make it a combination of everybody's different diet. Yeah. And you can, this time you can also order ugali. Ugali is our stable food and it's, uh, is it real good? It's, it's from uh, maize corn flour. It tastes nothing if you don't have something to eat with because it's just white corn. It's like that, 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 uh, but corn. Is that it's like polenta. Who? Polenta. So you need yeah. some like some some fish. So you need to, you need to have fish. You need to have beef goulash to eat with. Right. But for us, that's that, uh, that's what we eat most 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 it's of like our bread meals. Dinner. Sorry. It's like a cornmeal bread. Yeah. Type of yeah. It's like it's a stiff porridge. porridge. It's like this. a porridge. Yeah. It's a porridge. So with fish and that as well. That's one thing, if I travel abroad, I miss it because I've grown up eating it. So, yeah. wow, it's our local food. There you go, family, so you can try these things and just not, I just recommend everybody just enjoy every minute of this venture because trust me, you turn around, by the time you turn around, you're back at your desk or you're back at your house or back on, you know, uh, back where you know, back uh, at your residence. Uh, so the days do go by because you know, tomorrow will be day number three. And we, you know, we haven't even started yet, but uh, that's what itinerary say from one to thirteen, uh, because day number three to up to day number was it uh, day number eleven? That's just all in country and all tour. All right, so family, nobody have any questions? Everybody clear? I guess everybody read all the materials. They're clear and everything. So everybody be ready by nine o'clock tomorrow morning to leave. And we do apologize if we leave anyone. It's not on purpose, uh, but we do have to stay on schedule. Uh, so we'll do our best to try to get someone to check on you and things like that, but uh, it's uh, not something that we can guarantee. So please, everybody, make sure that uh, you set your alarm clock. If you need to do a wake-up call with the hotel, you can do that. Uh, but for the next three days, the goal is for us to you know, push out around 9 o'clock. If it's a little bit uh, after, it's all good. Uh, just don't want to make it too long after. So the key time, 9 o'clock. So even if you can get up at 8 o'clock, that should give you enough time to get your stuff organized, get you some breakfast. And even if you're pushing, uh, just get some breakfast to go. And we just and the get this done. Uh, what is breakfast? Well, usually it's 7 to 10. Yeah. So breakfast is usually available as early as 7 o'clock. Is thing open here at the hotel tonight if you want to get something to eat? You know, that's a good, uh, good, um, good question. Uh, I've never been, I've not been to this hotel. Uh, so um, it's, uh, it's still a four-star hotel. So I'm expecting them to have something food available uh, but uh, we, we have they have room service? Yes. They have room service? You can order the room yes. service. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you know that if you order a room service they will put a little bit extra charge. Yes. And perfect. And then the main thing is uh, you know, once we all leave from whatever hotel our goal is to close out whatever bill, whatever situation, whatever bill or whatever situation that we have individually and as a group and then keep it moving to the next place. So yes, so family, um, where were we about 15 minutes away now? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So yes, so family, we're almost there and uh, 
I'll get everybody yeah. in their rooms. And for those who want to just maybe socialize for an hour or so, you know, uh, you can socialize with me and Ronnie. Me, Ronnie, and Juma. You know, we you know, have a little talk, have a little drink, a little social yeah. thing right in the hotel lobby. Uh, we don't have to do much of anything. Right. So sometimes it could be like that if you have cards or dominoes. Sometimes on other nights uh, we can do those things. Just trying to keep things as social and, and interactive as possible. And you know, just try to get more networking and we can just uh, get to know each other as a people. Because one thing we have done with these journeys, we've connected a lot of people to where people are friends, people are business partners, and people do things together. And uh, you know, most of us have a nice pan-African energy of mindset, so it's easy for us to really communicate about many things. And so everybody, appreciate everyone's support, energy, and everyone following the directions and the flow and joining the journey. Uh, we didn't lose anyone. Everybody showed up on time. Everybody made it. Uh, so proud of that. So let's uh, enjoy the rest of the journey. And uh, as the time goes on, if you have any questions, anything like to share, we're going to always have moments we can talk and share things. And then once the camera is off uh, and anybody want to talk, we can uh, talk also. All right, my brother. Appreciate it.